Ah, happy Sunday, fan clan. What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. I'm uh, super stoked. We've got two Elite Trainer boxes. I told you guys this yesterday, but we got two Elite Trainer boxes of the new set, Paradox Rift, which comes out on November 3rd. So we are, we're a couple weeks away. Pre-release is going on this weekend and next weekend. Let me know if you've attended a pre-release already, what you've pulled so far. Uh, but we've got two different variants, thanks to the Pokemon Company International. They sent us this free product to kind of share with you guys. We're going to look at one of the ETB booklets in here, and then we're going to crack into these packs and everything we pull all the hits uh we're going to be giving away to one lucky subscriber so not just from these etbs but yesterday we opened up an entire booster box and we got some really cool cards out of that booster box so if you want to win everything all you have to do is go back to yesterday's video make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a like and a comment on yesterday's video come back next sunday one week from today that's where we're gonna announce the winner and then i will send every all the hits off to one one lucky subscriber so thanks very much for being here regardless uh we've got the iron bundle and we've got uh the screamtail one right here so we're gonna start out looking at the screamtail one i'm gonna flip you guys around so you can stop looking at my dorky face here uh but we're gonna kind of break into things i do want to look at the promo cards and i do want to look at the booklet so if you don't want to see the full booklet uh, from the Elite Trainer Box, obviously fast forward a few minutes here. We will look at the contents of the ETB fairly quickly and then go through things uh, pretty quickly as well. So here's the booklet right here. Lots of cards in Paradox Rift, but really lots of uh, super cool cards. I don't know if you ever look at the, the booklets, but there's actually a lot of really cool information in these booklets. A lot of people kind of just chuck them to the side. I always use these booklets. I like reading through them, but also uh, the, the, the set list is in here, the the set list as far as images go which is very important to me so that way when i'm building master sets i can kind of just cross things off as we go my chase cards the gimme ghoul line haven't pulled anything of that yet spoiler alert if you haven't watched yesterday's video uh but there we've got frost last ex not a whole lot on that first page there armor Roge ex over there then we've got garchomp ex the water variant uh, right there. So there's there's quite a few cards in here. Uh, Tarina EX, Galissapod EX, lots of really cool uh, EXs. The Mewtwo EX, but in the lightning form. Look at that. Very, very cool looking card. Tapu Koko EX. The Tapu Koko uh, special illustration rare looks absolutely stunning. Iron Hands EX right there could be really good in competitive play. Uh, Confagoras, I can't say it properly. That's just me. Uh, we've got Iron Valiant EX down there. There's a lot of Ultras in this set. Hoopa EX and Toxtricity EX. We'll see what the illustration rares look like. Sandy Shocks EX, very nice looking card. And we've got Roaring Moon EX over there, which looks absolutely stunning. The regular art EXs in this set actually look really good. Skeledurge EX, there's the Golden Knot, Golden Go. I can't say that one either. Golden Go EX right there and Altaria EX right after it. There's just so much in this set. Mousehold EX. Bombardier EX. Wow, holy buckets. The reprint of Countercatcher is coming. And then we move into the uh, illustration rares right here. So we've got Crustle and Dottler. Looks really, really cool. Toad Scroll, Magby, Iron Moth, and that Snorunt looks absolutely beautiful. Dang, that looks really good. Uh, and then there's a lot more over here. The Mantike. So Mantike not getting any printing for so long. And then there it is. Look at that Vanillish. Holy buckets. That looks absolutely amazing. Wimpod, uh, Veluza, Pulse, and Minun. Uh, Blitzel looks really, really cool. Joltik looks great. Uh, Espathra. Es Espray, Espathra. Uh, Gibby Ghoul. The Groudon looks absolutely stunning. The Mineshell looks good. Uh, then we've got the mini ore over there that looks that looks really good as well. There's a lot of really cool, really cool cards in the set. The Garbodor looks fantastic as well. Evital, more Peko looks really good. The Brute Bonix. There's the Steelix over there. That looks fantastic. Holy buckets, Ferrothorn, Aegislash, Apalm, Loudred with all the colors up there. Man, this looks so good. I have not really looked at the set list, so this is absolutely amazing. Swablu, Porygon Z. Uh, we've got a Cyclozar right there. Oh, man. Holy buckets. Frostlass, the Full Art Terra. Uh, Garchomp EX Full Art Terra. Lots of really cool cards. Even the Full Arts look like they have some really good shine to them. I know people aren't necessarily a huge fan of the hats, but I think they are getting a little bit better. And the Full Art outlines in here, these Full Arts actually look really, really go good, uh, which is super cool. We've got Larry down there. Mela. We've got... Uh, Norman and Parasol Lady, the regular full art of Parasol Lady. There's a lot of full art trainers in here as well. There's Rika, Rourke, Chantel, and Tulip. Uh, the special illustration are Garchomp and Galissapod, that Tapu Koko. That's the one that I was talking about before. 
Iron Hands EX kind of gives you a feeling of like the unknown alternate art, which is really cool. There's the Iron Valiant. We've got Sandy Shocks EX, Roaring Moon EX. There's the Golden Go EX. Dang, that looks really good when you combine it up with the Gimme Ghoul. Super cool. The Altaria. There's a lot of really cool cards in there. Uh, Parasol Lady, Professor Turo, uh, Rika Tulip, the Special Illustrationer, Garchomp EX, Gold Card at the bottom. I kind of covered it up so you couldn't even see it there. Uh, Iron Valiant EX, Roaring Moon EX, Beach Court, the Gold Counter Catcher uh, with the reprint over there, Luxurious Cape and Reversal Energy Gold. There's a lot of really cool stuff in here. You'll have to let me know in the comment section what you think of Paradox Rift. I'm really excited to break into it. We're going to give away all the hits to one lucky person. We've got our booster packs right there. Here's the promo card. I will obviously include those with the hits. Scream Tail in this one, uh, your energy card, your energy block, and then you get, those are the sleeves, not bad. Everything else is pretty basic, so we're going to break into things. We'll go through things relatively quickly. Yesterday, I went a little bit slower when it came to opening up the packs. Um, because it was my first real look at a lot of the artworks. So we'll go a little bit slower on this. Uh, I do expect to get maybe three hits in each ETB, somewhere around there, if we go off of pull rates. Uh, but we'll see what happens. You never know with ETBs. It can be all over the place. Uh, as we start out with just a Wu Chain Hollow right there. Ten, ten packs? I believe that's correct. Ten packs? Nine packs uh, in a regular ETB. Looks like we're going to get our first hit. Uh, right here, we've got Durant Reverse Hollow, and we've got a Frostlass EX, so a regular art Frostlass EX, or uh, better known as a double rare in the new rarity terms uh, from Scarlet and Violet. I do think that the the silver borders are starting to grow on people a little bit, which is nice. Uh, it's been a long time that we had those yellow borders. Tink a tink. Uh, we've got a Flittle Trubbish, Defiance Vest, Veluza, uh, Turbo Turbo Energize. Uh, Amp Palm, Parasol Lady, Reverse Hollow, and a Hollow Kingdra that actually looks pretty good. Uh, a lot of the Hollow Rares actually look really good. Once you get the uh, the future Pokemon and the ancient Pokemon, a lot of them look really cool uh, in their, their holographic form. It almost is like a bleed effect, which is really neat. Future Booster, Energy Capsule, Knackle Stack, Mind Chow, and an Evital Hollow Rare. So right now we've got five packs left. We started off with just a Frostlass EX. We'll see if we can pull one of the illustration rares or a special illustration rare, uh, something good in this ETB right here as we've got, we've got a melodic hollow. So that's not an illustration rare or a special illustration rare. I'd take a full art trainer as well or even a gold card. Uh, regular RDXs are fun to pull, uh, but really trying to get those upper rarities, obviously. Mantike and a Galissapod EX, not bad. Uh, so there's our second hit of the ETB with three packs remaining. Pull rates about one out of every three packs for the Scarlet and Violet generation so far. So with three packs left, you would think we should get one more hit, hopefully, as long as we can live up to the pull rate hype uh, for Scarlet and Violet. Much better than what we saw in Sword and Shield until we got to those Trainer Gallery sets. Trainer Gallery sets really started that whole 12 to 14 hits per booster box, especially when you include uh, those uh, Radiant cards as well. We got nothing there. So we're at just two hits right now. Just the Frostlass EX and the Galissapod EX. We're going to hope for some last pack magic uh, and see if we can pull something else. And it looks like we will not. The Wobble, Zacian, and the Hollow Zekrom. So we're going to add the Galissapod and the Frostlass to the booster box pulls that we had yesterday. And then we're going to give all of that away, all the hits to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, leave a like and a comment on yesterday's video. So where we opened up the booster box of Paradox Rift. Uh, so leave a like and a comment on that and then come back next Sunday. Uh, we'll let the random comment picker do its thing and then come back next Sunday, we'll announce the winner. Here is the sleeves uh, from the Iron Valiant booster um, or Elite Trainer box. And let's look at the promo card right here, Iron Bundle. I always get a little nervous about the Elite Trainer boxes because you never know what's gonna happen with the promo cards. A lot of stuff shifts inside. They do add that extra cardboard in there to kind of protect things, but still, I have had ETBs that have opened up where the, the, they've come damaged. I saw that a lot with Scarlet and Violet 151 with the Snorlax cards. Uh, it was unfortunate for a lot of people. So hopefully we can get three hits in this Elite Trainer boxes. We've got a Groudon Hollow to start things out. Hopefully something a little bit bigger than just regular art EXs, which is all that we've had so far. Uh, but we're opening up a total of 18 packs. There's what I was talking about before. There's the Iron Juggles. Um, but with the hollow, it's almost like a bleed pattern as far as the color scheme goes, which is really, really cool. Um, very cool how they're doing things. Even the regular EXs are starting to look a lot better with the starry background. 
Uh, very neat. We've got uh, just a Zacian Hollow on that one. So we're not starting out too great in ETB number two either. Uh, booster boxes usually are the way to go. I know they're not technically seated, uh, but usually you seem to have the best luck. We've got an upside down Galissapod uh, EX. Looks like uh, that'll be interesting moving forward to see if there's any quality issues or anything like that with Paradox Rift. Uh, this one does have a little bit of whitening up in the corner up here. You can see right there. Quality has been an issue with uh, Pokemon cards for quite a while now. So hopefully they can find a way to kind of address that. Uh, I think that's part of the reason Japanese cards have skyrocketed so much as we've got the Illustration Rare Blitzel. So starting off slow and then back-to-back, -back, boom, back-to-back uh, -back hits. Look at that Blitzel. It's a little dark, but that is so cool looking. Wow. Very nice. You've even got one in the background as well, but just wandering through the forest looks really, really good. The illustration rares, the special, the artwork in general, even on a lot of the commons and uncommon cards uh, in this set is fantastic. Very, very cool. Uh, I'm excited for Paradox Rift. I do think it's going to be one of the better sets from the Scarlet and Violet generation so far. I think it'll fall right behind uh, Pelde Evolved. As far as my list goes, personally, you can let me know in the comments section down below what you think of Paradox Rift. I do think it's better than Obsidian Flames and better than Scarlet and Violet Base. Uh, so not necessarily as good as 151, which obviously hits different because of nostalgia reason uh, and not as good as Paldea Evolve. Paldea Evolve is just really tough to beat. The artwork is so good. And also uh, the competitive uh, play that it brings is just really, really good as well. Uh, looks like we're going to finish it off with really nothing. So we got two hits in each ETB. So we'll add those to the pile. Unfortunately, two of them were the same. We just got uh, two Galissapods, the Frostlass, and the beautiful Blitzel. But we'll add that to our booster box pulls, uh, which we got yesterday, which are actually pretty good. Uh, we got Brute Bonnet, Iron Valiant EX, Skeledurge EX, a Full Art Tulip, uh, Confagoras, I can't say it, Bur Bombardier EX. We got the Gold Iron Valiant EX, Altaria EX, the Illustration or Aegislash. We got the Special Illustration or Parasol Lady, Sandy Shocks EX, and Serena. You can see kind of what I'm talking about with the stars in the background on the Sandy Shocks EX. Very cool looking cards. Uh, thanks for, so much for taking the time to watch the video. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a like, leave a comment. It goes a really long way for the algorithm. We will make sure that we build a master set for this and give that away to a subscriber as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Guys, thank you so much for everything. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. We're going to be doing uh, our stream tomorrow. So I hope to see you there. Until next time, guys. Peace!